So today I'm going to take you step by step on signing up for a Robinhood investing account. I'm going to show you all the questions it's going to ask you throughout this process. Now, once we go through the sign up process and you want to sign up yourself, I'll have a link in the show notes down below for you. That will actually give you a free stock for going through that link and helping support out the channel so we can make more free content just like this. Now, before we continue on, make sure you stick around through this entire video, because once we get to the final page that looks just like this, I'm going to actually link you up to our free full course tutorial on how to utilize the Robinhood hood app in its entirety for beginner users. So this is going to be the main page you see when you load up your Robin hood app. And we're going to want to go to the bottom right hand side here that says sign up. And the first question it's going to ask you is for your email address. So we're going to plug this in next up. It's going to ask you to go ahead and create a password. So we're going to plug in a password here. So from here, it's going to ask for your legal first name and last name. So make sure you put this information in correctly based off of your government ID, as this is going to be used to confirm your identity from here. It's going to ask for your phone number. So go ahead and plug in the phone number, hit continue, and then it will send you a code for verification. Once we verified the code that we received, we're going to go ahead and click on continue. So now from this step here, it's going to ask us for some more personal information for creating our investing account. So we're going to click on continue here. From here, it is going to ask for our date of birth. And it says right here, we are legally required to collect this information. Again, this is going to be for confirming your identity. From here, it's going to ask for the residential address. So go ahead and put in the address that you have, and then we'll go on to the next step. So from here, it is just confirming the address we plugged in and then showing us on the map on the bottom. And then we can click on continue continue from here. It's going to ask where you are a citizen. Again, they are legally required to collect this information. So we're going to put in the U S and hit continue. And from here, it is going to ask for a few more pieces of information. Again, this is by federal law required to collect, which is going to be your social security number, keeping in mind that this will not have an impact on your credit score and everything will be protected over here when it goes through this process. So once we see this, we're going to go ahead and hit continue at the bottom. So here we're going to go ahead and plug in the social security number and click on continue. Now it's going to ask us a few questions about investment. Investing. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue here. So from here, it's going to ask you how much investment experience you have. You can choose whichever option works best for you. So from here, it's going to ask if you would like to enable your commission free options trading. If you're not too familiar, you can click on learn more and then you can answer yes or no at the bottom. If you choose no, you can always change that later. So from here, it's going to ask if you are employed, you have a couple different options, choose the one that works for you. So from here, it is going to ask for your employer name, occupation and job industry. And again, these are required to be collected by law. Now, the next question here is going to ask if you are a family member are a senior executive or 10% shareholder in a public company. Typically this is going to be no for most people, but just make sure you read through that properly. So next up here, it's going to say, do you or any of your family members work for a stock exchange or brokerage? And you can see right here, it says most people answer no here. So up next, you can see right over here, it's going to be to review agreements. So we're going to click on continue. So from this page here, this is the tax certification, making sure that everything we plugged in so far is accurate. And then once that looks good, you can see here it already has our checkbox for us. And then we can click on agree at the very bottom. So next up here is the brokerage agreement. So you can go through these and click on each term and conditions if you wanted to go through and read them. Once you scroll towards the bottom, there's going to be that little checkbox up there that's already checked for us. And then we can click on agree and continue if we agreed. So from right over here, you can see it says to fund your account. So from here, we're going to go ahead and link a bank account and transfer funds. So we're going to click on continue at the bottom. So you can see right over here, you can start with small amounts. You can actually have instant access up to a thousand dollars in instant deposits getting transferred obviously from your regular bank account. Now we can click on continue here at the very bottom. So this is going to be the page where you're going to be able to connect your bank account with Robinhood pretty instantaneously. This is going to allow you to have your money start transferring over into Robinhood so you can start buying stocks. If you like, you can click on continue. And from here, it's going to show you a bunch of different banks that you can go ahead and log in with, or you can search for your institution at the top over there in the search bar. Now, if we go ahead and click on one option for now. So once you've clicked on your bank, it's going to go ahead and ask for your email and password to log into that bank account. We're going to hit submit. So once I've actually logged in through Plaid on my account, you can see the different options that I have to choose from. I'm going to choose the option that I want that money pulled from my bank into Robinhood. Once we do that, the continue button is highlighted and we'll click on that. Now it's connecting our bank account to Robinhood success we can click on continue and it's going to ask us how much we'd like to transfer over for our first amount. We're going to go ahead and just start with $10 right here. Hit submit and the initiation has been started for the funds, but we do get that $10 instantly. We can click on got it and we can go ahead from here, choose a schedule if we want to, or we can skip this for now and do that later. And it says, thanks for joining Robinhood. And we're going to hit explore Robinhood at the bottom here. Here it's going to ask if we want to do smart notifications. We can do not now. 
or yes if you want to. And just like that, we went ahead and created our account and we are officially logged into our new Robinhood investing account. And now we are officially on the main page of our Robinhood account. We can go ahead and claim our free stock you can see right over here. And then we can go ahead and get started with investing into the stock market. Now, if you want your free stock, don't forget to check out the link in the show notes down below. That's gonna help you get that free stock and go through that same process we went through here in today's video. Now, I also have my free complete guide to utilizing Robinhood as a beginner right over here on screen. So make sure you check that out to keep on learning how to utilize the Robinhood investing app.